Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the quartile and percentile functions in Microsoft Excel. Excel has two versions of the quartile function and two versions of the percentile function, which I will explain. On this worksheet, I have fictitious data to the left. I have an ID variable and a score variable, and there's 40 scores contained in the score variable. So I'll start by demonstrating the quartile.inc or quartile inclusive function. So I'll start with an equal sign and then quartile inc and the array is the range so it'll be B2 through B41. So I'll just highlight all those scores. 40 scores and I'm going to make these absolute references by moving to each selection and pressing F4. You see it puts the dollar signs in. That's an absolute reference. Now for the minimum score in a data set, to calculate that using quartile.inc, you're going to want to use the minimum value argument at the end here. So you have the range, then a comma, and then the last argument you can select 0 through 4. 0 is for the minimum value. So you can see here the minimum value is 54. Now there is also a min function in Excel. And I'll just demonstrate that over here. It would be minimum and then it would be the same range I just used here. you see it produces the same result. Uh, similarly for maximum there's a max function that works the same way. So the minimum score here is 54 and since I've used an absolute reference for the score variable I'm just going to autofill this down. Now it's going to have 54 for each value but I'm going to show you the different quartiles here. So for the first quartile we just changed the last argument to a 1, which as you can see is the first quartile, or the 25th percentile. That's going to be equal to 67.75. Then moving to the second quartile, or the median, that's going to be a 2. That's the 50th percentile the second quartile or the median value. That's 76.5. The third quartile, which is the 75th percentile, I'm going to change this value to a 3, 87.5, and then for the maximum, it would be a 4, or maximum value. So you have 100. So what this means is that we would expect 25% of the scores to fall between the minimum value and the first quartile. 25% between the first and second, second and third, and between the third quartile and the maximum. So that's what quartiles mean. So now that we have these calculations, we have the minimum, maximum, and the three quartiles. Why do we need the quartile exclusive? Well, there's no generally accepted method for calculating quartile. It's my personal preference to use quartile INC, but there's also a quartile exclusive. I want to show you how this works. So I'm going to autofill the first quartile over to the right. I'm going to have to change the function from INC to EXE. You can see the value is different. It's 67.25 or 0.5 lower than the value returned by quartile INC. So let me autofill this down and I'm going to change the arguments here. The median value is going to be 2. Notice that is the same score 
So they generate the same result for the median. And then for the third quartile, or the 75th percentile, you can see again this is greater than the third quartile. So the value of the quartile exclusive returns for the first quartile is lower than the score return for quartile inclusive and the value returns for the third quartile is higher than what's returned for the third quartile for quartile inclusive. So the difference here in terms of the scores is that the first and third quartiles are farther away from the median using quartile exclusive as compared to quartile inclusive. Also for quartile exclusive you cannot calculate a minimum or a maximum. It will not accept any argument except a 1, 2, or a 3, whereas quartile inclusive will accept an argument of 0 or 4 for minimum and maximum. So I'm going to show you how to use percentile inclusive and exclusive to do the same thing. So let's start with the minimum value. Let's take a look at percentile inclusive. You can see again it's asking for the array as the first argument. So it's B2 through B41 again. And I'm going to press F4 to make the absolute reference so I can autofill down as I make changes. And the percentile that you, in, for this function, the last argument for percentile inclusive to get the minimum value is going to be 0. So the minimum value is 54, and that matches what we have there for quartile. So I'm going to autofill this down. Again, it's going to show all minimum values for now. Now for the first quartile, we know this is the 25th percentile. And the way the percentile inclusive function works is that it allows you to specify a percentile and gives you the cutoff score for that percentile. So we know that this value for the first quartile is going to be 0.25 or 25%. And you can see it does return the same value as the quartile function. Similarly, it would be no surprise then that, that for the second percentile, we want 0.5, that's the 50th percentile, and then the 75th percentile for the third quartile, which would be 0.75, and for the maximum value, we're going to use a 1. So again, for these scores, you have the minimum, you have 0 for the first quartile, 0.25, the second 0.5, the third 0.75, and the maximum 1. Now the percentile inclusive will allow you to enter a value from 0 through 100. So a, a percentile from 0 through 100, and then it will give you the corresponding cutoff score. Percentile exclusive will not allow you to do that. So if I autofill the first quartile value over, and I just change uh, the INC to EXC, you can see it's going to give me the corresponding value that I had with quartile exclusive. So that does match. And if I autofill this down, I'm going to have to change this to 0.5. Of course, that's going to match. That's always going to be the same. So for all four examples here, that's 76.5. And then I'm going to change this to 0.75. For the third quartile, and you can see it matches quartile exclusive. So I'm going to take, uh, for example, this value here. I'm going to copy and paste this out and remove the border to show you that now this is the 75th percentile or the third quartile but you can set this at any percentile you want so if you wanted to see the cutoff score for the 90th percentile you change that to 0.9 it'll return that score 
or toward the other end if you want to see, say, the 15th percentile, 0.15, 64.85. So this is a very flexible function that way. Another element I want to show you here is another the limitation of the percentile exclusive. It can't generate the minimum or maximum values because it won't accept a 0 or a 100. All right, so if I were to copy, again, this third quartile, I'll move it down here and paste it, remove the border, and it's set now at 0.75. If I tried to set it for a value of 0, it comes back with an error. Similarly, if I try to set it with a value of 1, it also comes back with an error. So similar to the quartile inclusive versus exclusive, I use the percentile inclusive just as a matter of personal preference. But it's important to look at your data and what you're trying to achieve in the analysis to determine if you select the inclusive or exclusive versions of quartile or percentile. I hope you found this video on using the quartile and percentile functions in Excel to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.